Hi guys, Dan here from TV Fitness again. Um, today I want to talk to you about recovery after doing a training session. Now we can do this a couple of hours after we've finished our training whilst we're still warm basically. Or if you're fresh so it's the next day and you're feeling these DOMS in your body so that's delayed onset of muscle soreness or all the muscle fibres are have got little micro tears in, that's when you feel that tightness in the shoulders, in the back, legs, whatever. Just a little short video to tell you how to stretch them out and to pinpoint areas. So and we're going to use objects to do that. It's a bit like a, a massage session. This is the kind of sort of thing you'd do if you um, if you had a foam roller at home. If you've got a foam roller at home, you do foam rolling already, then great. Um, but you might pick a few things out of this. So. Um, Few things I've got here today is just um, a can of baked beans, trusty can of baked beans. The longer the can for this uh, purpose, the better. So some dog food cans are quite uh, substantially wider. So that was going to act as a, a foam roller, quite a uh, vigorous one as well. Um, then I've got uh, two balls here. So I've got a, a tennis ball, which is a little bit softer, and I've got this hard ball. So. This is a, like a throwing ball, so it's one kilo. You probably haven't got one of these in your home, but I should imagine you might have a hard dog toy or something like that. Obviously wash it first before you're gonna do these exercises. And then you can use, I've got a medicine ball here, but you can use like a one of your kids' footballs or a football that you have in the house um, that your kids play with. We can use that. So when doing these exercises, make sure you're warm. So you do a warm up um, routine. You can see from our other videos that we have already um, how to warm up. So follow that first and then get into this. Alright, so this is really going to help you out if you're feeling a little bit achy and you want to just stretch those muscles out. So if you've done a class last night and you're feeling achy this morning, get on this now. So, we would start by mobilising the upper back. So we can take this ball and put it behind us. I'll go this way so you can see. Right, so we've got the ball there, and you want it in the middle of your back. So this has got to be quite a nice soft ball. And what we're going to do, if we have any problems with our back, guys, like uh, skeletal problems, try and shy away from doing this exercise because it might um, give you a bit more pain. So um, this is just literally to mobilise the upper back. So we're going to take our hands out in front, bring the arms back. You might feel a few little clicks, but that's okay, that's just mobility. And increase. Good. And then you're going to come up and round. Round. So big circles. I come from a different angle so you can see. So here, going up and around. So this is going to be right in the middle of your shoulder blades, loosening up all those rhom rhomboids. So they're in between your shoulder blade and your spine couple of rotations of them and then go the other way. Good. Change the position of the ball as well to go up or down on your spine. Try not to do it in your lower lumbar region and with that I mean here, right? So where your ribs finish and down there. If we put the ball there you're going to get too much hyperextension in your lower back and that's really going to bring some pain on. So only use this ball from the where your bottom of your ribs start all the way to the top of your uh, thoracic spine. So that's that, so you can use the, the, the ball for that. The next one, we can pinpoint areas, so if we've got any knots in our back um, or shoulders or anything like that, I'm going to show you a few exercises that we can do, and also in the legs. Um, so for the back, so say we had tension, say, I don't know, in your trapezius muscle, which is the long sort of trapezius shaped muscle that goes either side of your spine and sits on the top of the shoulder there. So we would go back, put the ball on the ground and we would place it where the knot is that we find in our back. You have to position the ball, it's a bit difficult. Once we're there, found out where it is. I've got a knot just there. I can feel it, there's a bit of pain. What you want to do, concentrate on your breathing, it's going to be a little bit painful, and really just try and relax down onto that ball. Now if this ball's not cutting it, what you can do is you use the slightly harder ball and put that in place. There we 
we go. That's a little bit stronger now. All right. So once we've relaxed, so relax for about five seconds, deep breaths in. And then gonna bring your arm out to the side and rotate. Really just working the whole range of that muscle. Lengthen it and shorten it. And then again, relax on that muscle again in different postures of your arm. So you can go into the middle, bring your arm into the middle and out to the side. Work with these different ranges. You always feel tension in a slightly different part of the arm. Once you've done that side, you can hop over to the other side. You can also do stuff on your shoulder. So I do this with a, a softer ball because these are a little bit more sensitive. But basically you can get in here, get the ball in place behind the shoulder and then just slowly roll from side to side using your left hand to go from side to side. You feel that in the back of the shoulder. It's really loosen up the shoulders and give you a bit more range. It's going to hurt, it's meant to hurt, but just keep going guys. Once you've done one shoulder, go on to the other. Okay, so that's them out of the way. You can use this for exactly the same reasons on your on your uh, quads as well. Just make sure you've got your weight into it. And pushing down, you can pinpoint an area with that ball. Okay, and then just move it around. So then that leads us on to the um, baked bean can. So we can use this just like a foam roller. So down on the ground, and then say we're going to do our calves, if we've got um, tight calves, rest our calf on there, bring your leg back, lift your weight up so you've got the weight now onto the baked bean can. Make sure there's no sharp sides on the baked bean can, or dog can, whatever you're using. So once you go straight, we can then turn the leg to the side and work a different part of the muscle. And then you can do the, the medial side of that calf muscle. Good. If you want more strain, we can bring the, um, the leg that we're not working on over the top of the leg that's being worked. And that will give you a deeper massage. Okay guys, well, there we go. These are just a few things to maybe help you out, to help your recovery. Um, also, to make sure that our muscles are keeping as supple as possible. Uh, really helps to drink water. Make sure that you're getting the correct nutrition after your um, exercise workouts. Um, so, you know, that sort of 30 minute window straight after exercise is when your body's craving the protein that it needs to rebuild the muscle. So make sure you're getting correct nutrition, um, keeping hydrated, and stretch and mobilize with these exercises that I've shown you. Stay safe, guys. Uh, we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.